If it's latching already and you can't find one through the graph, is there one in this way that fits the way? Yeah, there's two of them playing in this game. You know, I mean, it's just getting one of these guys that's available is, is the problem. And uh, you brought up Romo. Do you think Tony Romo would be worth the move for Chicago at his age at 37? Well, I think that's I, well. I think that's what you got to weigh. You know, I think that's a decision that an organization has to make. Is uh, you know how confident are you that he's going to be able to make it through a 16-game schedule? And, and uh, you know, what, do you have an offensive line? I mean, the, he had one of the best, if not the best, offensive line in front of him for the last two years. Didn't get hit much. And yet, you know, he hasn't been able to finish season. So I think when you consider that, what do you have in front of him? And then I think you also then have to have a contingency plan in the event that he doesn't make it through a 16-game schedule. So I think that's a I think that's a high risk personally. But uh, as you said, I think there's so many teams that are in such desperate need of a quarterback that. I would anticipate that somebody's going to do something with him. Does that mean that a guy like Garoppolo comes <clears throat> back with Jimmy Garoppolo might be worthy of that number three pick in the draft? Uh, well, we've seen others who uh, who have played sparingly and have signed lucrative contracts, you know, and not done well. And, and not done well, and not. Um, and what I was going to say was, had not yet proven themselves out. Over a period of time, to where you're just really basing it on a small sample, and yet we need a quarterback, so we're gonna we're gonna do this, and, and uh, it just it just tells you how desperate so many teams are for a quarterback. How, how would Tony feel to? Or how would New York feel to knowing he was? Oh, I think Tony would fit in great. In New York. I do. I think uh, I think he would. I think he'd be fine. I think he would handle the, uh, the scrutiny of that city very well. Um, I, I think not only do I think he'd handle it well, I actually think he would thrive within that atmosphere. Uh, if you were the New York Jets, would you? Well, I, I think that anyone who needs a quarterback should take a look at him. But then it goes back to what I said. I mean, I think you've got to do your own internal evaluations as far as you know, what his medical history is and how confident you are that he's going to be able to be given, first of all, the, the protection needed. And when that breaks down, you know, how confident are you that he's going to be able to take hits and get back up? So what, do you make of, uh, what do you make of Roethlisberger saying, hey, I'm not sure about next year yet? Yeah, I mean, I get it. The season ends, and it's emotional when you lose it. And at that point in the season. The further you go, the more disappointing the loss becomes. Uh, I've certainly not had that conversation with Ben. I, I don't know if it was just an emotional statement on his part or if it's something he's really been contemplating. I, uh, as, as a fan of our game, I, I hope he comes back. He's a great player, and he's still got plenty of good years left. But, you know, everyone has to kind of make that decision on their own as to when they feel the time is right. I know he's been beat up a lot, uh, and whether or not he wants to go through all that. Do so you think frustration more than anything else? I would think, but I you know, I don't know. I don't want to speak for him. I, I hope that's what it is. I hope that we see him come back and play. Troy, what was your early read on Garoppolo and the small sample size that he played in? Is it yeah, when I saw him, I thought he played well. In that system, is it so much hard to predict what's the point? Yeah, a little bit. I think they do such a good job of preparing these guys and knowing how they're going to attack a defense that that it's hard, yeah, I think it is hard sometimes to then try to project how a guy is going to do somewhere else where maybe they don't have some of that same type of support that you get in New England. But he's obviously a talented guy. That's why he was picked where he was. And, uh, he played well. Uh, I, I, I would expect that there will be uh, several teams kind of kicking the tires on him. Who might be an unsung hero in this game? Or, or, or a couple of guys that you think would be surprised? I think uh, I think Deion Jones could be one of those guys for uh, for Atlanta. Um, for New England, I haven't dug into it to that level yet. On, uh, I 
don't know. I mean, on New England side, I mean, looking at it from uh, from the offensive side of the ball, I, I'm I'm really uh, impressed with Julian Edelman. You know, I was following him when he came into the league. He was, you know, was a quarterback when he came into the league and got moved to wide receiver. And he's, you know, he's one of the he's one of the great competitors of our game. You know, the guy's the tough as nails, and I'm I'm really impressed with him. Uh, but so is uh, Atlanta. You know, I mean, they know about him, and they should know about Chris Hogan. I can see where one of these backs uh, can be a real factor for for New England. Um, do what? No, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking Dion Lewis or uh, James White. You know, some of the things that some of the things that they're capable of doing and creating some matchup problems. I can see that. I can see those guys having some success. Why Dion Jones? Well, I just think that in order to in order to affect this Patriots offense, I think you have to get inside pressure on the break. What relationship did you have with Skip when you first I'm not done with this question. Um, and I'm not answering any Skip questions. It's not relevant. Um, so I think that they've got to get inside pressure, and maybe, maybe some of those inside guys can do that. But... Uh, uh, I think Deion Jones is maybe a guy who they can utilize in some of their some of their packages to, to, to get pressure on.